sources of inspiration. Uh, the most I think you can find in my childhood, but also in uh, the cultural history of my country, the poetries of my country, as the literature of my country, not only of my country, but also of the European um, literature. <laughs> and this all comes together to create uh, my films, especially um, Angels Melancholia, which was the most complex in regarding uh, the sources of inspiration. Goethe, for example, or Mörike, or Georg Büchner, but also um, Marquis de Sade. It's not only literature that influenced me, but also um, the European cinema, especially of the 70s, mm -hmm. Italian cinema, but French cinema too. Yes. Um, the film I like most is La uh, Chambre Verde, The Green Room. And I made some citations in my film Cartinoma, but uh, I have to tell you, when I made uh, Cartinoma, I haven't seen the film. I only read about the film, and I have seen it one year later, and I liked it very, very much. So yesterday I was, I was at uh, the grave of François Truffaut, and again, I said to him, thank you very much for that masterpiece. <laughs> Uh, I like uh, Angels Melancholia most because it's the deepest and the most complex but at the same time I regret that I made it for some reasons because uh, at a certain point during shooting I realized that I lost uh, control about what was happening but I did nothing to stop and uh, it was a hard time a three-week sh uh, three shooting, I think uh, 20 days of shooting, and uh, it's a long time, but um, the film was very complex mm -hmm. and very difficult yeah. to make, especially uh, if you work like uh, I work without any team, mm -hmm. if you do anything by yourself, it was a very hard time, and um, mm -hmm. I don't want to have such a time again in my life. <laughs> I think in Germany we have a very big problem with censorship. Um, maybe the worst time is, um, in the, was in the past, maybe the 80s and the 90s. Now it's not as, as worse uh, anymore. Um, not as bad anymore, but um, for me the official censorship never was a problem because my films are underground stuff and so uh, I think there are no problem for official censorship. Mm -hmm. Nobody of the official uh, censor board will ever see my films. Um, the problem had always been um, the problems I had with, uh, for example, with producer, with Angels Melancholia, for example, and um, with some people seeing the film and um, try to start a legal charge against me because of some aspects in my films, uh, yeah. this was the most problem, the official morality. Okay. <laughs> I don't have an idea about what German people think about my films because uh, they are underground films mm -hmm. and I'm not so much into internet, I'm not uh, looking uh, about uh, reviews or something. So I don't have really an idea about what uh, people are thinking. I have uh, no idea in what country uh, the people like uh, the films more than in Germany. Uh, maybe, I, maybe in French. <laughs> I try to hide my identity and uh, so it's not so easy to write me a letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe... Uh, Are you agent or...? No, no, I don't have an agent and, and maybe, uh, maybe the letters uh, will be hate letters. And <laughs> maybe it will be interesting to read, but uh, 
I prefer to be an underground filmmaker. Yeah. Okay. Um, nobody will know me and my films, but you will always find uh, some people um, interested in underground stuff, and maybe they will know me. To be honest, it's very hard for me to remember some funny anecdotes because uh, there wasn't any uh, funny thing during shooting. For example, uh, Angels Melancholia, it was a horrible time. And um, maybe it's not a good idea to tell too many details uh, of the shooting <laughs> for some reasons. Um, I can tell you one uh, thing. Uh, I had to, uh, I had to, to shoot an orgy scene, and um, the things that happened during that scene, um, I only can film one time. And uh, I said it to the people in front of the camera. Okay, now we start the scene, and please, you have to make your things absolutely right because it's only. Possible for me to shoot it one time, of course, yeah. because the thing happens you can't uh, repeat. And um, after that scene, it was a horrible scene. It was the end of a horrible uh, night, and um, the people had been exhausted and bloody, and uh, it was a real orgy scene. And they asked me, "Are you satisfied with the result? Look at your camera." Um, and I w tried to watch it at the camera. And I saw I had made a mistake. I, I was the opinion I press the start button, but I pressed it before, and it was the button to end the camera. So there was nothing at the camera. And the people asked me, is it okay, is it okay? And I swear that uh, <laughs> it's great, it's beautiful, wonderful. Let's end this night now. <laughs> I think this depends on um, what fascinates me. I'm fascinated by the body, the body of human beings, but the, also the body of animals and the nature. Yeah. And um, I try to go inside the things mm -hmm. as far as possible. This is why I prefer to make films uh, outside and not in rooms. Yeah. So it's not so satisfying for me uh, to shoot a film like Cannibal. I prefer a film uh, like uh, Angels Melancholia because uh, they are more outside shots. And um, maybe this um, leads to that um, common uh, thread uh, between um, my films. When you use an insect, it's available everywhere. Everywhere you can uh, catch a spider and uh, can took it for the camera. And um, it looks great. And um, but you, you have to think about: uh, is it necessary for the scene, or is it? Uh, can I use it as a symbol? Mm -hmm. And um, the best uh, animals for shooting, of course, are snails because they are very slow and they do exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. They look great. <laughs> I love it very much. I have uh, two or three scripts at home, completely written. Three scripts. Um, two of them are more, uh, a little bit more bigger scripts, uh, bigger projects, so I don't know how to realize it. Um, or when to realize it, but uh, one is a very small thing. I can do it in three or four days, and uh, maybe at the end of this year I will do it. We will see. I was very glad, uh, very happy to hear this because I was not sure about the film, if anyone in the world wants to see a film about such a theme. Because, uh, you know, a film about a, um, a cancer patient is nothing anyone wants to see. But uh, I wanted to do, to do this film because uh, that was a thing that uh, I had in my mind um, for some reasons. And um, I did it, I know. I will not earn any cent with that film, and 
I had no idea about the reaction of the audience. And when you told me, when Tinam told me I uh, won the prize, I was very happy. And uh, from this day on, I like the film uh, too. <laughs> to the French audience. So, I think the French people are very open-minded for the unusual films. Yeah. It's wonderful. Maybe there's a big difference in underground culture if you compare yeah. France to Germany. It's maybe more open. Yeah. Seems to be. Yeah. Seems to be. for the French audience to support me for my future projects like they supported me with uh, the past projects mm -hmm. so my hope is in France So that was a Marion Dora interview. Very interesting, man. Um, I think this guy is one of the sickest film directors out there. I mean, I think he's even sicker than Tom Six. Anybody you can name that's doing horror, extreme horror, exploitation. Man, this guy, he's like, he does not give a fuck. When you see some of his films, he's like, man, he's very hardcore, but... I don't know, man. This guy's crazy. The way he talks about insects, the way he talks about the symbols in his movies, and all this, man. It's like, you know, he doesn't care. He just puts, he does whatever he wants in his films, and I don't know, man. It's pretty bold. Um, I like the comment what he says about the hate letters. Like, if he were to get hate letters, he's gotten death threats, hate letters, just because of the content of his films, and... I don't blame him, you know. I mean, I've seen his films, most of them. Haven't seen Carcinoma yet, but I don't know. I've seen the trailer, man. I don't know if I want to see that, but yeah, this is definitely one of the most, I guess, fascinating, if you can call it, crazy directors out there. Um, can't show his face because, you know, because of what he's done in his films. He's done a lot of illegal stuff in his films, man, but... He still has like sort of a fan base, cult following. Um, but yeah, man, very interesting interview though, I must say. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this interview, this reaction, like, comment, and subscribe, right? Peace.